Hello, this is Anthony with Copley. Today I'll be uh, showing you how to test the homing routine as well as moves in CME. So we go to the homing tab here to test the homing routine. Um, so here we have some software limits. Those do not take effect until after the motor has been homed. Uh, so after the homing has been referenced. Here we have a list of all of the homing routines that you can test. So here I'll be testing a hard stop in the positive direction. This offset of 40 counts uh, isn't applied till uh, after the hard stop has been reached. So you jog in the positive direction, you hit the hard stop, which means that the the current will exceed 0.2 amps. That's how the drive knows that it hit the hard stop. Then it'll go in the negative direction, 40 counts, and set that equal to the the new zero position. Here we have other homing parameters, and uh, as well as some feedback information here. So if I hit the home button, we're jogging in the positive direction, and once the current exceeds 0.2, we've hit the uh, hard stop. So if I wanted to trace that, I'd just go into the scope, and then uh, here. Uh, we get the auto setup checkbox, we get these parameters, but I want to change those, so I'm going to make this trace time a little bit bigger to five seconds. I'll do a single trace, trace the profile velocity. Following error is good. Um, then I'll look at the, the current as well. And yeah, let's look at the trigger setup. So this is triggered to go on the rising edge of the in motion bit, which is which is a good thing to trigger on. You can also do immediate trigger if you wanted to. So you do event status rising edge, <coughs> select miscellaneous, in motion. And yeah, I hit record here. Now it's waiting for the trigger. So it uh, collected the, the data. So you can see we're jogging in the uh, positive direction. And then we hit the hard stop here. So once the current exceeded uh, 0.2, uh, amps. That's when the that's when the homing routine uh, is referenced and the uh, profile velocity <coughs> went to uh, zero. So um, yeah, I hope this was uh, helpful in, in showing how to uh, use the scope and uh, as a test a homing routine. Now we'll test some moves out. Um, so if we go to the profile tab. Um, here we have a relative, uh, we can do relative moves, absolute moves, um, trapezoidal as well as S-curve. So I'll make this, let's say, a thousand. <coughs> and I want to continually trace these, and I'm going to reverse and repeat the process. So... making moves here <coughs> of uh, plus or minus a thousand counts and uh, yeah so I wanted to just make this move once and trace what that looked like let's say make it a little bit bigger let's say 5,000 I should also make the trace time a little bit, uh, a little bit less, so we can look, get a better look at it. Record, start, and now we'll get a little bit better. Yeah. So, when you decrease the trace time, you can 
you know, your window is a little bit shorter, but you can get a lot more uh, points plotting. You can zoom in here and you can look at look at things uh, a little bit clearer. So let's say if I wanted to look at the response of the profile velocity, I would just go to the measurement tab and you could say show cursors. And you could say, okay, I'm going to plot this point and then I want to know how, how long between the that lower peak of the profile velocity and the delta time is in seconds and that's one two three so that's eight uh, milliseconds so uh, yeah that's eight milliseconds so um, eight point seven so that's how you use the cursors as well. And then if I want to zoom back out, I just double click and I'm zoomed out. Uh, so yeah, that's how you use the uh, oscilloscope to test moves and uh, plot them. Um, you can also use the oscilloscope for tuning uh, using the function generator. Um, and you can, uh, you can apply it to the position loop, the velocity current uh, or current loop. Um, and you can change the gains <clears throat> but uh, yeah uh, but this video is for testing moves and uh, the homing routine in the uh, scope I hope this was helpful